Hello and welcome to program 71. 71 aims to help you see the direction of uh, price on a chart using an analysis of various time frames. And this particular program is using price series providers and of course the, uh, the price for the chart itself. And it assumes using a minute chart. So what it does, it has a green line when we're in a bullish situation and the thickness of that line increases as uh, we get more convinced by the move. Now the same of course for bearish and we've also got some little black things here which are showing potential congestion and I'll explain how each of these is calculated in a moment. First of all as I mentioned we've got two techniques. Technique one Technique two, first of all, technique one, and that's what we've got applied to the chart at the moment. And what that does is it decides the color of the line, uh, accepting the congestion color, which we'll go on to in a bit. And it does that by determining what the move, the, uh, the slope is over two bars. Positive, the line is green. Negative, the line is red. And then in order to decide what the thickness of the line should be, what we do is calculate again the slope of the line, but this time using four bars. And for bullish, if that slope over four bars is positive, then we change the, the uh, thickness of the line based on where the price average is in relation to the price series provider averages. If it is above all of them, it's the thickest. And uh, as it goes down below others, it gets thinner and uh, the same principle for the the, uh, the red lines the bearish and then the other thing that we do is we try to get an idea of whether when there's a sort of congestion and a, a sort of sideways movement and we do that by analyzing the distance between the price and the first four price series providers we calculate the difference between the highest and the lowest and then we get a uh, black line here or whatever you use as a user input when the current difference between high and low is the lowest in a user input which is actually called narrowing a user input number of bars so let's look at the uh, the inputs and you'll see we decide the technique here one or two the moving average length and that moving average is uh, length is applied to both the price and the, uh, the PSPs, the price series providers, bull cull, bear cull, and congestion color. I think they're uh, self-explanatory from the chart. And then we've got the various intervals. So I've got this particular chart set to 10, 15, 30, 60, 240, and 1440. And then we've got this value narrowing, and that is the one that I just mentioned where the, uh, the difference between high and low has to be the smallest in a specific number of bars. Okay, so that is um, technique number one and uh, just to sort of go through you can see also as the the price begins to flatten a little bit the lines are thinner or not colored red or or, uh, or green and then we start to get we can get these these little congestion areas here and then as we begin to get a slightly stronger move the lines thicken up and again you can see here getting quite thin to to really quite thick as we're in this particularly strong a bullish move and so on. So that is the um, that is the the uh, technique one. Let's look at technique number two. Okay, basically the same settings. I've just changed the technique to be technique two. Now technique two uh, analysis is slightly different. And what we do is we look at the difference between the uh, the current price of the price series provider or the price of the uh, the actual price on the chart and we look at what the price was the previous uh, either bar in terms of price or what it was for the price series provider uh, before and we work out the difference if it was a positive move we add to the bull count something called a bull counter which is a variable in the program and if it was a negative then we add something to the bear counter and then when we got those values we set the thickness based on the value of the count with a maximum of six. Color is still represented by the slope of rice. And we've also got the, uh, the congestion areas which we had before and they are calculated exactly as they were in technique one. So you can see a whole bunch of them happening here where the price is not really 
doing very much. Now, as far as the uh, the indicates the price series provider indicators, uh, they you can control the the color and the style using the normal standard uh, trade station features as far as the color for the uh, the price average as I just showed you that is controlled by the imports. Now the real purpose of this program is hopefully you might find it useful but it is available unprotected and available for immediate downloads so you can get the program. I think there's lots of uh, useful programming techniques and, and um, constructs that you will find useful. You can also modify the program if you wish. Now, what I'm also going to do, I'm going to do a bonus video for Gold Pass members where I just explain a little bit more uh, how I've gone about writing the program. So Gold Pass members, make sure you're logged in and you'll be able to see that additional bonus video. So I hope you found this useful. If you're not familiar with markplex.com, please go to markplex.com. There you will find a lot of other programs and tutorials, free tutorials and programs that uh, you will hopefully find useful if you're interested in uh, TradeStation and learning TradeStation. Also consider Gold Pass. So thank you very much.